Welcome to Testing Private Well Water to Protect Children in Your Care, brought to you by Minnesota Department of Health and the Choose Safe Places Initiative. If your drinking water comes from a private well, you are responsible for making sure that water is safe to drink for everyone in your household, which means regularly testing it and taking necessary steps to make sure the water is safe for anyone who drinks it. Only you can make sure your water is safe to drink. Minnesota rule requires family child cares to test their well water every year for nitrate and coliform bacteria. Minnesota Department of Health also recommends you test for additional contaminants commonly found in Minnesota groundwater. In this presentation, we'll go over what to test well water for. We will explain why we recommend testing for these additional contaminants. We'll also walk through how you can get your well water tested. And finally, we'll finish with an overview of the next steps you can take once you know your well test results. As we've talked about, Minnesota rule requires all family child care providers to test for coliform bacteria and nitrate every year. To further protect the children in your care, we recommend also testing for arsenic, lead, and manganese at least once. However, this additional testing is not required. Also be sure to have your water tested if you notice a change in how your water smells, tastes, feels, or looks. You may be wondering why we recommend testing your well water. Well, these contaminants are common in Minnesota groundwater and can lead to short and long-term health and developmental effects. Testing your drinking water is really the only way to know if these contaminants are in your water. You cannot taste, smell, or see these contaminants, and water quality can change over time. Some examples of the effects these drinking water contaminants can have include stomach problems, how blood carries oxygen, increased risks of lung cancer and other forms of cancer, or they can even affect a child's ability to learn and develop. Testing for these contaminants is money well spent to protect your family and customers. Babies under a year old are especially at risk of being affected by these drinking water contaminants. This is because babies drink more water for their size, or per pound of body weight, than older children or adults. Their bodies also are less able to get rid of harmful substances. By protecting infants, you can protect everyone in the house. Now we'll shift gears and talk about how you can get your water tested. This is just a reminder that testing is an easy first step to protecting children's health and your household's health by checking your drinking water quality. The first step to testing your well water is to find a laboratory. Minnesota does not have one central laboratory that processes all the samples for private well users. So first, we recommend you check with your county public health or environmental services or human services to see if they have any well testing programs or suggested laboratories. If your county does not have a recommendation, you can select one of about 30 accredited water testing laboratories across the state that accepts samples from private wells. There are two ways to find these accredited laboratories, and they are both listed here. The first web page will bring you to a PDF map that shows the laboratories across the state, and the second web page will bring you to an online search database where you can select what contaminants you would like your water tested for, and it will tell you what laboratories can test for those contaminants. When you contact the laboratory, let them know what you want to test for. The lab will walk you through the cost, how to get the sample bottles, and will include instructions on how to collect and return your sample. Once you have the sample bottles, be sure to collect and return the water sample using the laboratory's instructions. Pay attention to instructions about when to collect the sample and whether the sample needs to be on ice or refrigerated. Know that each lab may list lab results a little differently. Some labs may describe what your results mean. Other labs may only tell you the concentration of the contaminant found in the water. There are a few different resources on the Water Quality Well Testing webpage listed here. If you need help understanding your results, you can use this webpage or you can contact us at the Health Department or contact your laboratory. We encourage you to compare your results to health standards to determine whether you should take action to protect your children and household from contaminants in drinking water. So how much does this cost? 
Really, it all depends on the laboratory you work with and what you want to get your water tested for. Generally speaking, labs usually charge between $15 to $40 for each contaminant you want your water tested for. So, for example, if you wanted to test for the five big contaminants that we recommend testing for, your total cost would be about $150 for that first time. After that, if you keep testing for coliform bacteria and nitrate like is required, you would only spend about $30 to $60 per year on water testing. Now remember that these tests not only protect children in your care, but they also help assure parents that their child has access to safe drinking water while they're in your care. Now let's talk about these next steps. You've received your lab report. Now what? If you have any questions about your lab report or what the results mean or what you can do, contact us at the health department or your water testing laboratory. We are prepared to help you understand your results and recommend steps you can take to better protect your household. Let's walk through a couple scenarios. Let's say your test results came back and you don't have any unsafe levels of the contaminants you tested for. That's great. Share the news with your customers. You don't need to take any immediate action. Just remember to test your well again next year for coliform bacteria and nitrate. On the other hand, what if your test results came back and you find out you have an unsafe level of a contaminant? Well, don't panic. There are actually several things you can do to protect everyone who is drinking the water. The action that you take will depend on what contaminant is at an unsafe level. Rather than go through all the possibilities here for each contaminant, we recommend that you go to the Water Quality Well Testing webpage. There is information there about the types of actions you can take for each specific contaminant that is detected at an unsafe level in your well water. Generally speaking, some of the actions could include flushing your water 30 to 60 seconds before you use it for drinking or cooking. They could also include using bottled water for babies under a year old or until the problem is fixed. The issue may be resolved by disinfecting your well and water system or repairing your well. You may also consider installing home water treatment. And really, home water treatment could be anything from a pour through pitcher, like you see here, to an attachment for your kitchen sink or a treatment system for your whole house. If you're unsure about what next steps are appropriate for your situation, please contact us at the health department. Thank you for playing an important role in protecting the health of children in your care by testing your well water. If you have any questions about this information or next steps to take, please contact the Minnesota Department of Health Well Management Program. Together, we can make sure you have safe drinking water for everyone in your home. Thank you.